on my knees to beg for mercy I, I go on my knees oh Lord to beg for mercy because only your mercy can set us free now only your mercy I beg for your mercy upon Nigeria Lord have mercy on Nigeria have mercy on every country have mercy on all of us have mercy on the have mercy on the whole world because you've got the whole world in your hands because you are God 
Lord have mercy. Baba have mercy. Osa no go have mercy. Osa no bla na baba no oji. Go go. Mercy. Mercy is all I beg you of. Have mercy on all our children all over the world. Protect our children from this plague. Protect our brothers and sisters, our nieces and nephews all over the world. Dear Lord, have mercy. Because you need to have mercy on us. Because my country, Nigeria, is not a country where the government is going to act like any other government. So it is only through your grace and mercy that we are going to be able to carry on in this period. Yes, in as much as I'm begging for mercy for the whole world, I need to let the whole world and you, God Almighty, I want to report my presidents and rulers to you, God Almighty. You so much bless Nigeria with so much riches and wealth. We have too many blessings from you in Nigeria. But unfortunately, we have bad leaders. Bad leaders whose senses, the first thing that will come to their sense in this chaotic time in the world is to remove 20 naira from gasoline. I think that is what we are looking for. We've been asked to stay at home. If we stay indoors in Nigeria, God, people will die of hunger. Because there are some people who actually have to go out every day to work, to hustle, to struggle, to be able to put food on the table for their families. Father, I beg you in the name of Jesus. I beg you with everything that makes you imperial. I beg you, O Lord God of hosts. I beg you with everything that makes you omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient. So have mercy on us, so have mercy on the whole world, especially Nigeria. Now we are hearing that in America, the presidents have decided to, you know, be giving people money to be, so that they can be able to at least feed their families. The people in America, they have only one head, not two. The people in Canada have only one head, not two. They don't even have as much as much uh, mineral resources, as much gifts as you've given to us in Nigeria. Oh God, show mercy on Nigeria. Because if we are truly locked up inside, fully, completely like the whole world, the rest of the world, I don't know what is going to happen. Father, for our sakes, for the sake of our children who are innocent of all our sins and all our dealings, for the sake of us who are innocent of cheating and misusing the fund you have given to take care of the masses. Have mercy on Nigeria. Have mercy because we don't have any leader that is going to say um, every two weeks, let's give each family 30,000 naira each, knowing how expensive things are now. So Father, have mercy. Now they a, a, a bag of pure water that is 100, 100 naira is now 150 naira. People are not capitalizing and thinking that this is a joke. It is poverty. It is poverty that is making people to skyrocket the, the prices of, of, of normal things, common things that can keep people going. Common things as common as water. So everybody should start getting ready to start boiling water to drink. Yes, yeah, so all those kind of Bottle water you are buying, don't throw them away. Save them. Boil your normal tap water if your water is already clean. Boil your waters and put them inside your fridge to start drinking. Because in this Nigeria, government don't care about babies. Government don't care about women. Government don't care about how we survive and how we live. Government don't care. We don't have a government that loves us. We have a government that is selfish that love themselves. So Lord, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us because they are their, them and their household, they have everything inside their house. We will have to struggle. For those of us who have aged parents, we need to struggle to take care of our parents, our children. There are so many women out there who are mommy daddies. 
God, have mercy because of those struggling women who do not want to leave their children alone, who is doing everything possible, every business possible, to put food on the table. Dear Lord, this pandemic needs to disappear away from this world. We have learned our lessons, Father. Have mercy. He's got a hold.